Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this packed video short, we're going to cover, for modular curriculum development and acquisition, the establishment of learning objectives. PACT is an acronym. It stands for Performance-Based, Accelerated, Customer and Stakeholder-Driven Training and Development of Any Blend. Every event breaks down into a number of lessons, one or more. Every lesson map contains at least one instructional activity, if not more than that. Learning objectives are established on the lesson map to start the design process. This is where that would be articulated and captured in the lesson map. In the instructional activity spec, that component of the lesson has its own learning objective. There are terminal learning objectives and there are enabling learning objectives. In the PAC processes, this is how that plays out. Terminal learning objectives at the lesson level and enabling learning objectives at the instructional activity level. These learning objectives are either derived from the performance model which articulates the performance requirements of the target audience or it's from the enabling knowledge and skill matrices that identifies the enabling knowledge and skills that are required in order to facilitate and enable performance. Performance model data and the knowledge and skill matrices data from the analysis phase. This helps us identify what the level two mastery of learning objectives need to be. But also, and even more importantly, what the level three transfer to the job objectives are authentically. Enabling knowledge and skills and terminal performance are articulated in the analysis phase and then brought to life in the design phase and later on in the development phase of the actual instructional and informational materials. This is all about performance competence. Performance competence is the ability to perform tasks to produce outputs to stakeholder requirements. Those are the performance objectives and they help establish the learning objectives to make sure that they are aligned, complete, accurate, and appropriate. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.